Okay, I'm gonna try to do this one uh, without the announcements interrupting me. It's probably not gonna happen, so I may just pause when the announcements come on. All right, so this is video is called the Columbian Exchange. Um, a little bit, this is a review. Some of it's new. We're going a little more detail here. So the definition of the Columbian Exchange is basically this, the transfer of goods between the old world and the new world. So what came from Europe to the Americas, what the Europeans found in the Americas and brought back to Europe, okay? So this includes goods like plants, animals, germs. We talked a lot about that with microbes, diseases, and people. People were transferred as well. Some would argue it's the most important event in our modern history. Without the cultural, I mean, the Columbian Exchange, nothing would be happening um, in our world as it is today. All right, and it basically started as soon as Columbus landed in 1492, but it really started when Europeans started, um, decided to colonize the New World. All right, so what came from the Old World? So what came from Europe to the New World, the Americas? All right. You got cattle, so it's cows, sheep, pigs, horses, all came over. Horses really revolutionized the way Native Americans hunted. Uh, pigs were actually funny because Europeans didn't really keep pigs in pens, so they just kind of roamed everywhere. They were very destructive and gross. Um, you know, they're just slobby animals in general. You also got sugar cane, which were planted, um, and the, the environment was great for growing sugar, which you already know in the New World. Coffee, bananas, grapes, etc. Germs and diseases were huge. We've talked about smallpox. Also, measles and the whooping cough. Um, a lot of people get vaccines for those nowadays. Um, and a lot of historians and scientists say that because of these diseases, within the first 100 years of Europeans landing in the uh, New World, almost 90% of Native Americans died from disease. Um, that's, that's pretty unreal. Um, so since so many Native Americans died, here come the people, right? The Europeans started to bring over Africans that they captured off the African coast uh, and brought them over as slaves since they couldn't enslave the Native Americans. They were here because most of the natives had died. Okay, so let's talk about what came from the New World back to the Old World. Well, the Europeans found tomatoes, potatoes, corn, sweet potatoes. They all brought those back from the New World over. And these were very nutrient-dense, nutrient-rich foods. It means they were very nutritious, had a lot of calories in them, had a lot of nutrients in them like protein. Um, so the European and African populations just absolutely exploded because they had taken advantage of these crops um, and they were way more nutritious than what they were growing over there. Let's talk about the impact of the Columbian Exchange, right? So the amount of potential and money in the New World was contagious to the Europeans. So they started to colonize in the New World. They set up communities, set up governments, um, figured out towns and, and ways to live over there. They started to colonize because they just could not turn down the opportunity to have this much control, this much land, this much money. It also had a huge impact on us socially and culturally in both the old world and the new world. In fact, the new world or the world would never be the same ever again because of the Columbian Exchange. 